my son be a thug nigga? Do I tell my baby girl that I'm a drug dealer? I'm only counting who I see, fuck who was with us. Me and my bitch wanna be faithful, but we love bitches. Hey, can't understand it, so I can't explain. They love me all over the planet, though I can't complain. Hey, shit changed, man, it ain't the same. You probably could take my name for you take my chain. But if I ever get my shit snatched, I bet I catch you on the gram getting my shit back. Like, why you gotta tell the whole world you did that? Man, that's the type of shit that make me think you did that. And that's the type of shit that get a nigga kid snatched. The type of shit that make them boys pop up where you live. What up, though, YouTube? This your boy, My High Chosen. And we are back here with another video for the day. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you guys my favorite coverage defense in Madden 20. Um, you know, you can utilize this um, to stop your opponent, to contain your opponent. Uh, whatever you may want to call it now um before this video even get started man i just want to let you guys know that i don't consider myself the best you know madden player but when it comes to the knowledge of the game i consider myself one of the elites and the reason why i think i'm so good at that is because you know i just take my real life football iq and i incorporate it into madden um for a lot of you guys who don't know i play you know college football you know i was an all-american um you know i was a all-conference player um, I had the opportunity to play in the NFL. You know what I'm saying? If you guys want to know that type of story, man, you know, you, I put a video up on that probably a month ago to tell my story of football. But anyway, and I also coach high school and I also coach Little League football. So I just use my IQ in football and I just incorporate it to Madden. Because um, at the end of the day, football is football at the end of the day, no matter if it's virtual football or no matter if it's real life football. So um, I just wanted to get that out of the way to let you guys know that. So here we go. Um, the defense that we're going to be running is. The 3 2 6, but we're going to be running a cover 2 drop. Now, this cover 2 drop is not in every 3 2 6 for every 3 2 6 playbook, okay? So, you have to search around yourself to find what cover 2 drop is in what 3 2 6. But if you guys just want to get straight to it, you guys go to the Arizona Cardinals playbook and click on their live playbook, and you'll have this 3 2 6 uh, cover 2 drop. Um, and what we're going to do is we're just going to go to. Um, deep pass, but we're gonna go to random so the computer controls what random deep pass they would be running now I, I want to give you guys um, You know, I don't want to make this video too long But I want to give you guys like because this is a teaching video and I just want to explain things to you guys Now the number one thing that make this video I mean it make this play so good if you look in the middle of the field There's nothing but yellow in the middle of the field. We have two vertical hooks We have a mid read and we also have a three red hook the three red hook is one of the most glitchiest um, zones in the game now uh, what make this so good is uh, if you have two great pass rushers like the 49ers, like the 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 uh, the Vikings, or even the Cowboys, your opponent will only have literally two reads that he can get to. You know what I'm saying? Um, he have his first read, his second read. By the time he get to that third read and try to throw the ball, them pass rushers should be in his face, right? So this is why this is so good. Now, a tip that you guys probably didn't know. If you play hard flats or play underneath, so you press Y or triangle and press down on your right stick, as you guys can see, the corners going to hard flat. Now, a lot of you guys may think this is only for the corners that play hard flat. What happens is you just told your defense to play everything underneath. So if your opponent run a drag or a slant, them them linebackers that's in that three rook, three wreck in that in that mid read and them vert hooks and things, they're gonna jump down hard on them on them drag routes and tackle it immediately. If you don't. They drop back, and that's why them drag runs be having so much space. But if you play hard flats or play underneath, they, they're, your defense is going to play underneath. And then when I like to play hard, when I like to play underneath, what I do is I put my corners, I just put them back into cloud flats. So that's basically telling everything in the middle to play underneath, but you still want your corners to sink back. You can put them in cloud flats, or you can put them in soft flats. That's up to you. You know what I mean? And the basic setup is in cover two that a lot of people run is this, right? And this is cool, but let's just run a play. You know what I'm saying? I'll play over here, and let's just run a play. You know, this is the basic setup. You know what I'm saying? And it works. We got a pick on it. You know, the computer threw a pick, and it works. But going against a great opponent who read defenses, going against a top-tier opponent, not a, a, an above-average opponent, if he see a too high safety look, he knows it's covered too. And then plus, a lot of people like to, like to move these top safeties out, and you give it away. Now, what I do is, this is an advanced tip. Put one of your safeties in a deep third. We still want to play underneath, and then we still want to put our corners in cloud flats or in soft flats, however you want to do it. 
but you got a deep third. Now, whatever safety, this safety or this safety, whatever safety you're putting in deep third, utilize that slot corner to play on this side. Now, this is what I'm about to start teaching. Now, your job is to read from the number two receiver to the number one receiver. The number two receiver is considered this tight end right here. Your number one receiver is considered number 18 over here. You have a vert hook. If the tight end push vertical, you have to run vertical with him. But then once you see the number one receiver push vertical or run like a corner route or out route, leave the number two receiver alone and go jump on the number one receiver. You know what I mean? Because you don't have a half over there anymore. You have a deep third. So now you have to play all this over there, all this over here if if the corner, I mean, if, if your receiver is over there. You know, if that make any sense. So let's just run it, and I'm going to just try to teach it as it go. So I'm going to push vertical. So nobody, so that's my fault. You see how I ran away from it? Nobody went over there to that half, so I didn't need to go over there. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know why I even left to go over there anyway. So, again, we're going to do this, and this is how it should look. We're going to play underneath, and I'm going to re-put them in a soft flat, and I'm going to play over this guy. So I'm reading to see if this, if this if this receiver over here go vertical. If he go vertical, I'm going to leave my responsibility, and I'm going to go vertical. You know what I'm saying? We're going to push back. He didn't go vertical, so I could play everything. It's nothing for me to play over there, and if I had... That's an interception. But if there's nothing for me to play over there, I can leave all that alone and I can go help out over there. And this will make this defense so tough. I just want to instant replay that, man. I don't know how I didn't get under that. But my read is this. I'm playing on this guy, right? I know my safety behind me got deep third. So I'm pushing vertical or I'm, 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 I'm going vertical. That's my responsibility. Once I see this receiver over here not going vertical on the sideline, that means I could cheat and run with him anywhere on this side of the field because there's nothing over there pushing me. Now, when he threw the ball, I should have I, I don't I should have got that. I don't know why I didn't pick that, but that could have been a, that's Julio Jones, that's why. I could have got a pick, but that's exactly how you want it to work. This confuses anybody. And like I said, you can still move them out like you playing cover two because you are playing cover two. You know? But you know, we're gonna hard I mean we're gonna play underneath and then we're gonna put our corners in clouds this time. You know, I'm not gonna make this video until this is probably my last time showing it, but um, I just want to show you guys my read. Push vertical. He going inside. By us being in a cloud flat, by us being in a cloud, I mean, by us being in a soft flat, my corner over there matched like he was a man to man. You know what I mean? So this time I'm going to play, I'm going to play hard flat. You know what I'm saying? And do it this way. You know what I'm saying? So here we go. We're going to go back vertical. If I see this corner over there going vertical, he's, everything is covered up. And this is what I mean by like a, uh, uh, he got like two reads to get to. Two, two great defensive ends, they don't have all day. You know what I'm saying? So this is like just an advanced, an advanced tip. So as you guys can see, he play action. I push vertical. I go over there because I thought he was going vertical, but he didn't. So I peel off on that, and I'm coming down, and I'm going to play. If he would have threw this right here, I would have jumped at it, and he would, I would have caught that. So this defense right here even confuses the computer because the computer think that you are in cover two, or the normal cover two as well. Um, so, you know, I hope I explained that the best way that I could, man. Um, you know, if you if you if you have like if you have like football knowledge, you understand, you know what I mean. Um, practice mode is not going to give you or uh, give you the best ideal look. Um, that's why when I run a lot of game plays um, and I put it online, or if I'm if I'm playing on my Twitch account, if you guys ever want to join in on Twitch account to watch me play, I explain that as I'm I'm playing football. I and mean, you see me getting a lot of interceptions. You see me getting a lot of sacks because you're confusing your opponent. You know what I'm saying? So, um, if you guys like this type of video, man, you know, subscribe to the channel, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you have any questions about any type of coverage defense, any type of any any type of Madden questions that you want to know, or any type of personal question you want to know, man, about football or whatever, you know, you know, reach out to me and, and I and I make sure I answer them questions for you guys. So, um, I appreciate you guys for watching this video, man. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'm gonna catch you boys on the next one.